At this point, it is no secret that AMD is also betting on AI technologies and FSR 4 is coming and it's coming with AI. And Black Ops 6 is going to be the first game that's going to use this a new AI based image upscaling tech from AMD. And it is really interesting because FSR and FSR based image upscaling methods are the only ones that doesn't use any kind of AI or not to the degree that XCSS or DLSS uses. But in this video, let's have a skeptical look towards FSR 4. FSR, XCSS and DLSS are all a method of image upscaling primarily used in video games. Now what is image upscaling? It is a method where we take a lower resolution base image or pixel data and increase it to a higher resolution image or increase its pixel data. And the goal is to do it in a way so we cannot distinguish the difference between the native higher resolution image and the so-called high resolution image. And there are different methods or algorithms that can be used for this. Some use some form of AI and some doesn't use any form of AI. And I've already made a video going through all these technologies. And if you want to know more about that, you can check it right here. Now, we don't know how or which machine learning algorithm will come into play for FSR 4. But AMD recently posted a blog on their GPU open about neural sampling and denoising for real time path tracing. It is very interesting, a little bit detailed and technical. If you are interested, then you can check it out. I have linked it down in the description. Description. Also, there is another Medium article that I have linked down in the description written by this guy. Sorry, I can't pronounce the name and I don't want to offend you. But the idea and the inspiration of this video comes from that. But now let's get back to the topic. We already got a little bit of taste what FSR could be from Sony's PSSR. PSSR is a Sony's proprietary image upscaling tech which was introduced alongside with their new PS5 Pro. And inside the PS5 Pro, we have a RDNA 4 chip. Well, with an asterisk because the core architecture is still similar to RDNA 3, but the ray tracing and AI accelerator part are from RDNA 4. So most people are calling it RDNA 3.5. Also, now that most reviews are out for Sony's PS5 Pro, the general consensus are that PSSR is better than FSR, but not to the level of DLSS. But there is one thing to note here. Although inside the PS5 Pro, there is a custom AMD chip, but the PSSR and FSR are going to be different from each other. In the aforementioned Medium article, the author revealed that Sony has filed some proprietary patents for their PSSR. So it is a speculation that FSR might use different types of technology or in other words, different ML algorithms. Although Sony is using proprietary technology or patented technology for PSSR, which AMD might or might not use in their FSR 4, I don't think it's going to be worse than PSSR. FSR 4's quality should be better than Sony's, but would it be better than NVIDIA's DLSS? Well, that's up for debate. But I have one question here. Why we need to use AI based technologies? Because without using any of that, FSR can deliver right now very good results. Hardware Unboxed tested 26 games using FSR 2 and DLSS and in 60% of the games, FSR can deliver you quite similar performance to DLSS or slightly worse than DLSS. Also, the track compared FSR and DLSS using Netflix's VMAF to eliminate any human intervention or biases while judging the quality and even in that test too, FSR performs quite well. Why AMD is moving forward with AI where we all know that AMD has to consider hardware compatibility and they won't be able to say that our tech runs on simply everything. That was the biggest USP of FSR, right? Here's the thing. An AI enabled image of scaling technology has always been in the plans for AMD. I don't believe that suddenly today AMD had an epiphany and then they are working on this AI based technology. When we upscale images, let's just say from 960p to 1440p, we just don't enlarge those pixels. We add more pixel data to fill in the gaps and an AI or machine learning algorithm can help to fill those gaps. And here we can leverage one of the biggest disadvantage of AI hallucinations. If a model hallucinates while predicting those missing pixels, it's still something which is better than nothing. But yes, it still can be bad and introduce artifacts. And that is the reason we fine tune these AI models. That's the reason why we have so many revisions of DLSS and why NVIDIA is constantly adding and improving DLSS. 
the LSS one was bad, even though it was using AI. And NVIDIA didn't just throw few things together to give an answer to the competition. They were working on this for a long time. Pleasure AMD didn't had with FSR1. It was a quick and dirty answer to NVIDIA's DLSS. That's the reason FSR2 is a completely different product than FSR1. And the story is similar for FSR3 too. The moves towards AI was always inevitable. And talking about hardware compatibility, FSR4 would still be compatible with most hardware. In the same way, XCSS is available for almost everything by utilizing a fallback layer. AMD already has a great fallback layer. FSR3. I think AMD is still working on FSR3. Yes, not to the degree of FSR4, but it's the ace of AMD and I don't think they would leave it hanging. The systems that don't have any kind of AI accelerators in them will utilize FSR4's fallback layer. It could be the current version or even a better version of FSR3. And the systems that do have some form of AI accelerator will use full-fledged FSR4. Now you might have noticed that I used system, not just GPUs, because most modern CPUs also come with an NPU. Yes, the Ryzen 9000 don't have any form of NPU inside them, but AMD's APUs do have that capability. And after the console market, AMD's biggest contribution towards gaming market is handheld, which they are leaning on heavily. And who knows, AMD could come on stage at CES and say, hey, look, if your system have any form of NPU, FSR4 will work on it. And it doesn't matter, it's an Intel CPU. And I think alongside RDNA 4, the new FSR4 will work on RDNA 3 too, or their 7000 series GPUs. RDNA 2 would be a little tough because even though they have AI accelerators, they are not as capable as RDNA 3. But hey, who knows, AMD could do that because one thing they have on their side is they are ambitious as heck. But ambition can only get you so far because it's not how good FSR4 will be, but how well game developers are implementing it on their games. There are multiple examples where the implementation of FSR is so good that it can rival its AI counterpart. And there are some where the implementation is so bad that it's just plain and simple terrible. So we also need to see what AMD's plan is for that. Even though I'm trying to be as skeptical as I can, I just cannot help myself from being getting excited. Unless I'm being just plain and simple cynical and saying, oh no, I know FSR4 will be bad. No, I don't think so. I am getting excited for it. And to be honest, it feels like the old days are coming bad, where making videos about PCs was fun, where I don't have to write scripts filled with just numbers. The way when you hit the like button is fun for me because I like that. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't, well, feel free to leave a dislike. It hurts, but hey. You do you, man. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to us, well, do it by here. And this is Akash, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.